Hello people, welcome to this channel. Thank you for watching and subscribing to this channel. If you are new here, welcome and consider to subscribe at the end of this video. Press the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. The famous content creator Esther, well known as Nairofi, has revealed how she met her hubby, Duncan, and how they have been living a fake life. Sharing on her social media platforms, Nairofi shared the story of how she was brought up and the circumstances surrounding how she met Duncan. Esther was brought up by a single mother in a humble background. She has an elder and a younger sister. When she was informed for her mother got sick and passed on. Nairofi started hustling earlier to cater for her needs since her elder sister was taking care of the younger sister. Times were tough and the job she had could not cater for all her needs, so she decided to look for an agent who promised her a job in Russia for the World Cup. That was the time she met Duncan on Facebook and he told her the job was a scam. He told her he worked with the United Nations and he was based in New York. Esther due to misery, she believed he was a sweet man who wanted to give her the world. They formed a strong friendship and he traveled to Kenya for his birthday in 2019. At that point, they started dating and even moved her into a one-bedroom house. From there, things became tough since he stopped her from meeting friends and even gave her a curfew. This man turned Esther against her sister and said the sister was jealous since she was about to have a good life. This caused her to have depression. Later, she found out that Duncan was in Russia, not in New York. Despite of the signs that she saw, she decided to ignore since she was young and in love. The two got married and his mother was not in attendance. This after the marriage, he traveled and left her in Kenya to take care of the process, but deep down he knew they weren't going together. Duncan took over her life and how she tried to ignore everything since she had no one to share with. At some point, she used to buy herself gifts to protect her husband's ego, while he said he sponsored her life and she is ungrateful since he gave her the life that she's, she has now, which is fake. This story is a lesson for all the young ladies out there. Work hard and don't follow what people will say to you. Others are there to deceive you and make life miserable for you. Essa is one of the examples. Focus and pray to God. He will bless the work of your hands. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe.